Hello and welcome to this session on planning with Power BI. My name is Martin Kratke, I'm one of the founders of Ateris, and I'm very much looking forward to taking you through these sessions and hopefully demonstrate why our approach of combining self-service analytics and performance management is a very effective way for realizing planning, consolidation, and really all aspects of performance management. I've worked in this space for the last uh, 20 years, um, have worked with Power BI from the start, and would love to connect with you on LinkedIn um, with these details. In our session today, I will, after an initial introduction, cover what are the options to automate the integration of financial systems that are typically relevant for the planning process, and then uh, show you how you can realize what we believe are smart ways to implement planning and financial reporting directly with Power BI. The idea for Ecteris has evolved from working in this space uh, for more than a decade with our consulting arm and agility and implementing FPNA projects on most of the major FPNA platforms. In 2016, driven by this experience and the meteoric rise of self-service analytic solutions, we decided to build our own product called Ecteris. And uh, this solution has since then created a lot of global recognition around the world. Among others, um, Ecteris is now the preferred solution on Microsoft App Source, on the Microsoft Marketplace, and we also have a co-selling agreement with Microsoft in place where Microsoft is reselling our solution across the world. We were voted as one of the top four solutions in the FPNA space by the US FPNA Association, the industry group for FPNA professionals. We have uh, top marks on independent um, review sites like G2. We have been the editor's choice on various um, app stores and visual marketplaces, in particular the Power BI uh, visual marketplace where we have been awarded multiple editor's choices. And finally, a very recent development, we were voted the best new vendor by the independent uh, analysts for CPM solutions, BPM partners. The most important reward so is the one by our customers. We are very proud now to have some of the biggest organizations in the world uh, realizing tremendous benefits from implementing our solutions. These are listed uh, companies on major indices like uh, the New York Stock Exchange, the DAX and the, and the ASX. Why are these companies moving to Actaris? The status quo in many organizations is a variety of disparate systems. So you have a system for planning, another one for data warehousing, another dashboard system. And that is ob obviously not the most effective way because you have to move data around between these systems. So our approach is to completely unify all these aspects on a single platform, on a standard uh, database that can be used by pretty much any client tool and is also the leading choice from a security and scalability perspective. And this uh, in combination with Power BI to cover all the typical corporate performance management requirements, in particular planning, but equally we offer um, very competitive solutions for financial reporting, financial consolidation, and more specialized aspects of performance management. Um, with this approach, uh, we have received um, very successful outcomes at major customers, for example, one of the biggest sports group in Germany has replaced their legacy CPM system with a unified solution based on our platform. And in the end, it's the Microsoft SQL Server data storage platform where everything gets stored. The knowledge for that plat platform was already in-house. So uh, they avoided uh, pretty much entirely uh, the reliance on external consultants and built the solution in-house with existing uh, knowledge. Um, and this is in general our approach to avoid on the one hand very excessive license costs, which, which we believe are unfortunately still the standard in our industry, come to a more uh, reasonable and fair pricing arrangement 
and unify all aspects on a single platform that typically generates very substantial cost savings. And the way we achieve this is by nearly entirely avoiding extraction, transformation and loading. So the traditional way of integrating data for a variety of source systems, we can completely automate the process. So we automatically generate the data warehouse in the best possible uh, structure and also then in the end the, the Power BI model. And in the worst case, if we don't have a completely automated solution, you can do this um, with our unique generic integrations and uh, one of them is um, PowerSync and the other one uh, Instant Link and our apps. And I really want to show you this now in real life. And I will start with the Ectaris modeler. The modeler is a, a web-based software as a service solution that is business user friendly, which covers the typical modeling and administration requirements. So the integration of sources, the model management, and then governance and audit trails. But the best thing is to see this live. So the way this works is um, you sign up initially uh, as a cloud-based solution, but you can also install it on premise if you want. That takes a few minutes, which really showcases our mantra, the quickest possible start. So within a few minutes, you have your environment ready. You can now select from our uh, completely automated integrations where we support all the major cloud-based ERP systems. The newest one is Oracle NetSuite. And then with a click of a button, you can add uh, the companies that you want. Typically, our customers realize consolidations so they add multiple companies even across different accounting platforms and then what they get from this uh, when they click on the on the power bi link here is they automatically get the ready-made application that includes the the consolidations all the companies they've added are then here i can either look at a particular company or look at the consolidated results we have all the typical kpis ready and uh, the typical CPM requirements from um, financial calendars, um, currency conversion, but and then also the financial logic. So, for example, the three-way forecasting where you combine financial planning, operational planning, capex, loans, and so on. So this is what the customer get within a few minutes uh, with all the functionality. So they can drill through to particular details. They can look at the records there and it's already integrated with the accounting systems as well. So I can immediately drill through directly back to the accounting system. Um, but we also cover other aspects, um, like for example, sales, where the AI features are automatically um, set up. So I can review now here what has driven the increase from Oct October to November and the AI will automatically find what are the interesting aspects. I can immediately see what companies have driven the positive effect um, and whatever other findings here the AI makes. So all this uh, ready-made completely uh, immediately usable, but completely customizable to your requirements as this is just a normal Power BI environment. If you want to edit anything here, you can edit anything here as you wish with all the Power BI functionality. The next aspect that I quickly want to cover is Power BI Sync. Power BI Sync is our solution to plan enable and data warehouse enable any Power BI model. So the way this works is um, you install Power BI Sync. It's a, a, a setup that only takes a few seconds. And you get then an additional option in Power BI to automatically synchronize Power BI, so whatever you have in Power BI, you can synchronize with a enterprise data warehouse. And then also immediately uh, configure it for use with a carry. So essentially plan enable and write back enable any Power BI model. And the best thing is to see this live. So what we see here now is just a normal Power BI environment that uh, likely many of you are already familiar with. But we have here also installed Ectaris PowerSync. Ectaris PowerSync um, runs directly within Power BI and enables you now to synchronize your Power BI environment with a data warehouse and immediately add the planning and CPM functionalities that Ectaris offers. So for example, here I can now uh, choose the data from the Power BI desktop. This equally works with um, 
the Power BI service or data flows. And then whatever you have in Power BI, in this case it's Microsoft Dynamics, but this will work for any connection in Power BI. So for example, SAP and any of the 600 plus connectors um, are supported. So you can take all the data that you have in Power BI, for example, the Dynamics accounts that we will see here in a second. So we see here immediately the structure of the Dynamics accounts. I can then um, synchronize them with the data warehouse and I can um, add the write-back capabilities. So in essentially create the metadata uh, environment so that the uh, carries a modeling and planning server um, can handle the data correctly. I can also automate this process. So uh, as opposed to doing this as a once-off, that uh, this automatically runs and updates my Power BI environment automatically with the SQL Server, respectively, with the Actaris um, Core Performance Management models. So we see here now, um, I have originally the Dynamics tables, but what I have here now as well is the Actaris model. And here I can now just take the, uh, the plan component, the plan variable, and put it in my visual. So for example, if I want to use here now the, um, the budget in the in the uh, in this visual, I can just drag and drop it. This is a variance analysis visual that Actaris offers, but this would work with any other visual as well. With Actaris, with the Actaris visual, it's, in, it's immediately right back enabled. So if you want to now do your planning here, you can immediately click here and just by dragging and dropping, enter your budget numbers. And this works on any level. So if you drill down here to the next level, you can do this planning now on a detailed account level in the same way as you just saw uh, here directly in on the on the overall level so these are the planning features um, the other thing is here now the financial reporting and this brings us to our visuals so Terrace at the moment offers eight Power BI custom visuals all of these visuals are listed on AppSource which means they have gone through very rigorous testing and security um, verifications. The visuals that we have at the moment cover the matrix planning, uh, an editor's choice, visual planning where you can do the planning using drag and drop, you saw a little bit before, the table edit where you can edit any uh, table in a data warehouse or any relational table or in SharePoint, Actaris reporting for financial reporting, Actaris scanned for project management, Actaris variants that you've just seen, and then Actaris comments for filter-driven comment handling. And again, the best thing is to see this live. So our newest baby, Actaris reporting, allows you to do financial reports in the quickest possible way. So for example, if I want to add here now my budget, I can just click on this visual, add the new budget line. Sorry, this should be here. And I will have then this new scenario directly in the report. Let's rename this to make this um, a little bit easier to understand. So I can see now I have here now the financial report here is the typical drill down capabilities. I have actual um, budget variants using the Ectaris visuals that give you very comprehensive insight into where is your variance coming from. And also the typical financial reporting features where Power BI out of the box doesn't offer too much in regards to individual row formatting and also adding um, your own row calculation. And this is very easy. You just go into edit mode, click here on add row after uh, with the financial reporting subtotal or line that you want, for example, a relative gross margin, then specify your calculation just by clicking and in this case here, I want to use a gross profit divided by revenues. And you see, I immediately have this calculation. What I want here now is to turn this into, a, into the right format and immediately have this here. The numbers here are a little bit strange because we have a, a high negative uh, gross margin because we have um, high negative selling expenses. But that's just the way it is. But you see immediately you have this line here. So you can create Financial reports exactly as needed with all the formatting features. We also have ABCS inspired visualizations where you can switch between different displays. You have the option to handle comments. 
and underlines and other typical reporting requirements. And what we've seen at our customers, this has massively improved the experience because normally you have a very hard time doing these things because you will likely need a lot of complex stacks. Here, the calculations run way more effectively because we only need to look at the visual totals, which has brought down the report uh, generation from in some some of our customers in the in the range of minutes down to a few seconds. So uh, to um, run the report takes um, a few seconds here. So this is a little bit of the general visualizations, and then I would like to show you now a little bit more complex uh, planning scenarios. So what we see here now is a typical dashboard in Power BI. In this case, I'm using dark mode, but uh, we have seen some of our accountants are still preferring the uh, light mode, which is easily possible. So I can immediately switch here to the light mode. So here I can see another same report uh, in a light version. As I said, I like the dark ones more. I think it's a bit easier on the eye, but if you want to, um, with our approach, you have the option to immediately switch and use your own themes and all the capabilities that Power BI has. So here we have now the dashboard. I can see immediately at a glance how are my subsidiaries working, in what stage am I with my planning process. I can add comments here. I see predictions for the future. And I can now from here navigate to all the different planning aspects. So here we have now an example of a typical financial planning data entry form. So I've got my account hierarchies here, so I can drill down to the particular area. I've got time periods. Even here I can selectively, selectively drill down, something that you don't have in Power BI out of the box. And the users can do their planning directly here. They've got visual cues where they're allowed to enter. They can have calculations here that support it, for example, the prior year actuals. And they can then enter the numbers directly here. So for example, if I want to make an assumption, if this goes up to 500,000, I will immediately see what are the changes. I was a bit um, over pessimistic here, so I've, um, I'm changing this again a little bit back. And I can immediately see what are the implications. And this works on any level. So if I want to now change the total cost of sales, I can use now any of the shortcuts that uh, the users um, can immediately access here. For example, relative increase, assume here a 10% um, increase. And if I um, refresh this, I will immediately see what are the implications on the underlying levels. So if I do a drill down here now, I can immediately see this 10% change. How is this affected uh, the underlying accounts and what were the effects on the KPIs that I've um, set up here in Power BI. In the end, all this is normal Power BI. And uh, the way you set up the Actarius visual works in exactly the same fashion as you work with any other visual. So you just put the details from your model. So in, in my case, account group to a name and the time hierarchies and then the values that I want to show here into the visual and that's it, it's, that's your planning form. This can be then combined with workflows. So the users here can then enter their workflows here so they can say, okay, I'm finished now with this particular part of the budget. This will then automatically trigger a workflow. So the uh, manager will be informed, Martin has submitted his budget. Um, the reviewer can then review it, reject or approve it. If it gets approved, it gets uh, to be a part of the overall budget. If it gets rejected, it goes back to the user and they have to adjust it. I can always see the status on the, on the main page. So I can see and automatically what's the status of the current planning process, again, directly in Power BI. So I see here this Australian one was now submitted. And in this fashion, and that's a big differentiator to other uh, of other providers in this space. We cover the entire integrated planning um, process, so sales planning, um, driver-based planning, capital expenditure, uh, loans, cash flow. So we bring all these things together, and we have templates to do so. So you can start very quickly. In addition to the planning aspect, you can also realize all your modeling and master data management requirements directly in Power BI. So for example, I could add um, new scenarios that I want to use in the planning process. We also have a specific visual for copying data from one scenario to another. 
and you can edit your data given the user rights directly in here, uh, including special functionalities like image handling. I could immediately edit images here and I can edit any other parts of this table where I have access rights to and where the right access for me was enabled. This is something that we also handle in the carry so that you can exactly specify what are the users allowed to do. And this can either be validated so that they can only choose a particular item or a freeform where they can select anything um, they want to change here. The final aspect that I want to show you here is driver-based planning. So you see now again a combination of the Acaris visuals, so one of the eight Acaris visuals, but then also normal Power BI visuals and slices. The difference here is now uh, the drivers that I set up here, and this is completely flexible. So you have got ex a currency exchange rates, I have tariffs, I have KPIs, I have quantities, I have prices. The users can now here interact and plan with these drivers exactly as they wish. You, they can immediately see what are the implications. So if we increase our quantity, mm -hmm. what effect does this have on our KPIs? If we make price changes, for example, if we assume price increase of 400 until the end of the year, I can immediately simulate this here and see what are the implications. And in the end, all of this comes together in the cash flow based on the financial rules and templates that um, have been set up. So I can then see here immediately based on all these planning steps, what is the cash flow of the planning period. So this is just as a quick example of how Ectaris works. I want to now share just um, another example of the outcomes. Uh, one of the biggest beverage groups um, in the world, they had um, a project, a Power BI planning project that failed. So they were looking urgently for something uh, as an alternative and they had a very um, tight deadline. So they, they told us in two weeks the planning system had to be ready. And we have delivered the, the planning system, a very complex one that involved um, tens of subsidiaries across the globe, currency conversions, very complex discount schemes. We've delivered this we've delivered this within two weeks and also completely redefined the reporting experience with the visual that uh, I've just demonstrated before, um, which uh, opened up um, way improved in general insights, particularly through these IBCS based uh, visualization methods, but also from a performance perspective that you know the reports were now available in seconds as opposed to much longer periods before. Um, what I also want to mention is we have now a team of 32 partners across the globe that um, provide the capability to help you with the implementation. Typically, as we discussed, in comparison to any other enterprise uh, vendor out there, a fraction of the implementation timeframes. We have uh, very competent people also in the German-speaking region that are likely uh, in this session in high attendance today. So these four providers, please, if you're interested, um, contact them. They have very competent teams. And finally, just to sum things up, what are the key differentiators? So the main differentiator to all of the solutions, um, including the Power BI based ones, is the quickest start. So we can really deliver tangible outcomes as you've seen in this presentation within a few minutes. And even if you embark on very complex enterprise scale project, the implementation time typically doesn't exceed um, a few weeks from, from start to finish. The second aspect is the completely automated finan financial system integration. Again, no one, even in the enterprise space, even large multi-billion dollar competitors that we have offer this completely automated integration of the financial systems that you've seen in the presentation. The other really important aspect is security and governance. So again, when you're looking at Power BI based solution, make sure the visuals and the components that I use are verified by Microsoft, are listed on AppSource, which guarantees on the one hand the quality, but on the other hand also the security. In our case, this is all in place. 
And in addition to that general governance and audit trail feature, so anything that happens in our platform gets recorded, the admins have easy access to this, nothing gets lost, you have total transparency of what's going on. And we are integrating directly into the existing governance standard, like governance standards like Active Directory. And then finally, smart planning. You saw a little bit of this today. This is the integration of uh, the different uh, financial planning components, operational planning, financial planning, but then also special flavors like um, artificial intelligence and knowledge-based uh, planning. Um, this is an area that uh, where we put a lot of investment in at the moment so to combine human knowledge with uh, machine learning knowledge and you will see some very exciting new features coming very soon. Finally, thank you very much for joining us um, at this webinar. If you want to try it out again, uh, it, it only takes a few minutes on our website to start your free trial. Also, all our visuals and app source uh, you can immediately uh, be tried. So just go to the website and start the trial there. I would love to connect with you on LinkedIn. I'm, of course, happy uh, to answer any questions and connect with you. Also, if you're interested to become a partner. And um, yeah, hope, I hope you all have a great rest of the day. And thank you very much to the organizers for organizing this event. And I hope to see you soon at another session.